Welcome to the tutorial. Today, we are diving deep into building a smart home automation system using Java. We'll walk through the key components, setup, and coding together. So, let's get started. First, let's discuss what a smart home automation system is. Essentially, it allows us to control home appliances and systems remotely, often through a mobile device or computer, enhancing convenience and security. For our project, we will use a few basic components such as lights, thermostat settings, and security cameras. Our goal is to design a simplified model that can be expanded further. Now, let's set up our project in an integrated development environment. Open your favorite IDE. I'll be using IntelliJ IDEA. Create a new Java project named Smart Home Automation. We'll start by defining an interface for our smart devices. This interface will enforce the methods that all our smart devices need to implement. Here, we have defined three methods, turn on, turn off, and get status. This will provide a uniform way to control all smart devices. Next, let's implement the light device. Create a new class called smart light that implements the smart device interface. In our smart light class, we have added a private Boolean variable ISIN to track the light state. The methods defined in the interface are implemented accordingly. Next, we'll create a class for the smart thermostat. Similar to the smart light, we'll name this new class smart thermostat. In our smart thermostat class, we have a constructor to set the initial temperature and a method to adjust the temperature. This demonstrates how different smart devices can have unique functionalities while still adhering to a common interface. Now, let's create our security camera class called smart camera. Similar to our previous classes, it will implement the smart device interface. In the smart camera class, we similarly have a Boolean to track whether the camera is recording. You can see how each device has unique capabilities while still encapsulating similar functionalities. All right, we now have our smart light, smart thermostat, and smart camera classes ready. The next step is to create a controller class that will manage these devices. In the smart home controller class, we maintain a list of devices and provide methods to turn on off all devices and check their status all at once. This enables centralized control over all smart devices. Now let's create our main class to bring everything together and test our system. Create a class named Smart Home App. In the Smart Home App, we're instantiating our controller and devices, then adding each device to the controller. You will see how we can control all devices with just a few commands. Let's run the application and observe the output. You should see actions taken for each device being printed to the console. This is your smart home system in action. Now that we've built a basic smart home automation system, let's discuss potential improvements. One could add features such as scheduling, remote access through the internet, or integration with voice assistants. For the next steps, consider implementing a graphical user interface or a web interface. This would allow users to control their smart devices easily and access their functionality seamlessly. Thank you for joining me in this tutorial on building a smart home automation system using Java. I hope you have learned valuable insights and feel inspired to create your smart home projects. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more programming tutorials. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated.